friends and welcome to today's video. Now I haven't talked fitness in a little while, but it is in the name of my channel. My name is Christine. I am Frugal Fit Mom. Today we are going to be talking about a holiday gift guide for your favorite runner or exerciser or fitness enthusiast. It's a lot of this is going to be running specific, but a lot of it can also work for anybody. Now, before we get started into all of the things that you see here, I did want to remind you to subscribe if you enjoy the video and you want to see any other videos that I do. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I do upload a new video. And for your convenience, I will have links for the things that I am talking about today down in the description box for you so you can find it later. If I can't find a link, I will mention that, but maybe link something that's very similar. Let's start over here with tops. If your exercise enthusiast is a girl, they're going to need sports bras for the girls. I wanted to tell you guys about this newer sports bra that I've been trying for high impact. This is a champion sports bra, and I like this because it does not come in small, medium, large. This is done by cup size. So you do your band and cup measurement, just like a normal bra. You have a lot of different seaming to hold the girls in. The shoulder straps are adjustable as is the back clasp and the shoulder straps are thick and padded for your comfort. This is an excellent bra for running. Comes in a lot of different colors for the girls that are jumping all over the place and stuff like that. I would recommend something like this instead of cute Victoria's Secret bras, especially on the pink side. Those are not for high impact. Those are more for looks. They're fine for a weightlifting day, but for running, invest in something like this or several somethings like this because when you're 50, your body will thank you. Cute running gear will always encourage you to work out a little bit more. You should have seen me when I first started running in 2009, I was a mess. I had some like ugly knee length biker shorts that my mother-in-law had given me because she didn't want them anymore. And like just a cotton t-shirt and a sports bra from high school that was like all cotton and no support. It was not cute. My husband will tell you it wasn't cute. And now when I go to the gym, I feel cute. But I'm not one of those ones to like show off the tummy in a crop. I, I really do like just a baggy tank in a really fun color. I like this, I like this North Face one that I have. It just says get outside on the back in this really, really pretty blue, blue color. My favorite places to get tanks like this is Ross. They will surprisingly have some really good stuff. You can get some things on clearance at Dick's Sporting Goods, but my number one go-to is runningwarehouse.com. It's no tax, free shipping, and free return shipping if something doesn't fit. I've returned so many things to them and it's never been an issue. This one is weirdly soft. like. It's so soft. I love black. I feel like I look good in black. I want my clothes to be black, you know, so it can match my soul. There are a couple of tanks I also like on Amazon. Uh, I really like the 90 degree uh, reflex, like 90 degree tank tops. I feel like they're really soft. They wash really well and they come in a million colors. I'll link those also for you. Moving over to this side of the apparel, I have some leggings. When it comes to running outside when it's warm, I'm a shorts girl. I wear the baggy running shorts. They're so comfortable. I much prefer them. But when it comes to the gym, I'm not as comfortable just wearing like running shorts to the gym if you're squatting or, or doing other movements. Leggings are where it's at and some of my favorite favorite brands are the following. Victoria's Secret. Now recently Victoria's Secret did change their formula. So one of the newer leggings is much more cottony and much more stretchy, which means that it's thinner and might, might stretch to fit you better. But I'm a huge fan of the compression. I want it to be tight. I want it to be snug. I want everything sucked in. I love these because of that. There's a pocket on the side. Any leggings that are like a nice, thick, tight in waistband. So they're not going to slide down while I'm doing burpees or something and a pocket for my phone. You basically got me sold. I've had these leggings for like four years. I have worn them weekly and washed them weekly for four years and there's no pilling. There's basically no sign of wear whatsoever. So if you're going to do the Victoria's Secret leggings, make sure you get I want to say these are the knockout by Victoria's Secret. Next up, we have Glider. This is a really high quality legging. Now these will cost a pretty penny. I got these in my wantable box recently. I had some credits, so I didn't pay anything for them, but I love the double thick waistband. It's got a little guy here for my chapstick. Of course, side pocket for my phone. And even though these are white, these are so 
thick and well made that they are 100 squat proof i have worn them for turbo kick and squatting and kicking all over the place and they have been totally fine and when you pay maybe a little bit more for a higher quality legging like I did for these four years ago. I think I got these and they were 50% off. So I think I paid 30 to $35 for these. We're talking over 200 wears and washes on these and they still look new. You'll see in a minute that I'm a huge fan of Brooks. I got these leggings a year ago as I was training for my Ironman and I love them. I feel like they are so flattering. I love the reflective and the bright, bright neon. They are slightly lined, so they're a touch warmer. They just fit for runners, if you know what I'm saying. Like they stay up when you're running, they don't slide down your tushy. I just think they're made very, very well and they also are a bit of an investment. But if you're gonna keep things like this for 10 years and wear them all the time, I think that's okay. Last apparel item, a really, really bright running vest or top or jacket. And I got this from Brooks about four years ago in this neon hot pink and I wear this all the time. It's really easily seen by cars, especially in the snow in the winter time. The neon yellow actually kind of blends in with the snow and you can't see it very well, but this bright pink really, really pops. It has pockets all over it and reflective strips all over it. And because it's a vest, I can wear it on top of a jacket if it's like really, really cold or just a really, really thin shirt if it's not that cold and still be seen really well. Let's go to some of the cheaper items for your fitness enthusiast. For a runner, they're gonna want some kind of fuel belt like this. This is a Nathan. I found it at Ross for $6. I know. I've had this for about 10 years. Um, I do still have the water bottles. I just didn't get them out for this video. Came with water bottles. And back then, this pocket would fit my phone. Phones have gotten bigger since then, so it doesn't fit a phone anymore. But if you're doing a shorter run, I love this water bottle. This is also a Nathan handheld. It has a zippy here that I usually put like maybe a goo or a chapstick or something in there. It holds a 10 ounce bottle and I don't have to grip it so I can just like go like this. I will do that with maybe a five mile run or shorter. And I really, really like this water bottle. It is winter after all, so these things are super important. Don't forget about your accessories. You can get pick up an ear warmer for running that's easily seen like this for less than $10. This one's from Asics and I've had this for probably seven years. And if you live in the North like me and it's dark at like 3.30 in the afternoon in the winter, a headlamp is a really good investment for the runners who like to run outside all times of day, even when it's dark time. <laughs> I think it's pronounced Petzl. I've had this for 10 years. I recently got a newer one, so I will probably link the newer version that I have, but it gets very, very bright. It's got a dimmer. It's adjustable here, so you can aim it down. You can aim it up really high quality and doesn't bounce around on your head. I love this thing. I wanna say they're between 20 to $30 and a great investment. This is just for your standard exerciser, which brings me to the giveaway part of the video. I have two sets of these exercise discs. They have some exercise options on the back for you. I will be giving both of these away. So if you would like to win these, leave a comment down below. That's all you have to do. You can say anything that you want to. You can say, Christine, I wanna win these cool exercise -y discs. You can say, all of these items are stupid. You could say, I hate running, but I still wanna win something. I don't care, it doesn't matter. I will pick a winner on December 20th. On December 20th's video, I will announce the winners of these two items. A good fuel belt is essential. And honestly, I've tried a lot of different brands <laughs> and this, uh, this off brand from Amazon is honestly one of my favorites. It's a snap belt. It doesn't go quite small enough for my waist, but I do have a pretty small waist. Uh, mine's 26 inches. So if you're a touch bigger than that, it'll fit you better. The inside is waterproof. I feel like is a must. You wanna put your phone in there and you're sweating, right? And then you get condensation on your phone and on your phone's camera, which makes it not work. That has happened to me on my iPhone 5. <laughs> I totally ruined the camera by like sweating on it too much. I really love this. Dave and I bought this in a two pack, I believe over two years ago, and we've both worn them so much. It was less than $20 for two. And I think a really, really great product by Amazon. You can always pick up a phone, you know, arm case like this so they can listen to their tunes while they go. These are very, very cheap. For their stocking, you can pick up some, you know, exercise or fuel. You can do the goose. I love the honey stinger waffles and chews. I think those are better and the Gatorade chews 
those are good. All right, let's talk about the more expensive items. Smartwatches. Well, this one's a smartwatch. This one's not. This is the Garmin 405. I've, I had this guy for nine years and actually it still works. The only reason I upgraded to this new one was because of my Ironman and I wanted a triathlon specific, which is what this one is. This is the Garmin Forerunner 935. It's your smartwatch. It does the wrist uh, heart rate. It tracks all of these different kinds of activities. Amazing battery life, like unmatched. It's incredible. I did switch out the straps. They were black and I just bought these off of Amazon for not very much. This watch is a lot of money. I want to say it's about $400, maybe a touch less right now. But if you have a really serious triathlete or ultra runner, this is an amazing watch. You could probably pick up the 405 now for close to $100. Garmin does have a wide range of watches and I would pretty much recommend any of them. They had like the Garmin 10, which was the lowest model running watch for well under $100, all the way up to the new Garmin Phoenix, which is almost $1,000, it's astronomical. Dave got me this first Garmin for Christmas, 2010. He bought it when it was about $150. It was the only Christmas present I got that year. And I was so giddy. I was like jumping up and down and I hugged him so much. I just loved it so much, athletic shoes. Now I'm showing you running shoes because I'm a runner. That's what I invest in. My favorite are Brooks. Dave and I basically only wear Brooks running shoes. My two favorites are the Pure Flow, which is this one. It's a very neutral, lightweight shoe, and I find that I can also do weightlifting in it because it's more of a minimal shoe. There's only a four millimeter drop from heel to toe, wider here than a lot of the other pure line. And my favorite running shoe, the Brooks Ghost. I've been wearing the Ghost running shoe since 2010. This one is the 11 model. I go up almost a full size, so I think these are a nine and a half. They are so cushy. You can get 500 miles of running on these shoes. And I always buy them when they're on sale, when they come out with the next model, right? So the Ghost 12 is out right now or something, which means these were very, very cheap. Well, not very cheap, but cheaper than 140. These are the best shoe. Even Dave, he's tried a lot of the different Brooks shoes and this is his favorite. And if your loved one doesn't wear Brooks, find the kind they like and get them that shoe. I'm telling you, getting a pair of new athletic shoes for Christmas, you could never ever go wrong with that. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all of uh, my holiday gift guide tips for you. Just a reminder, all links down below of everything that I've talked about today. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for these. Let's just leave any comment you want. Click here or here. If you wanna see any other videos that I have done in the past, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow.